In this short tutorial, we will show you how to do multi-texture effects in 3D Exchange 4. First, open 3D Exchange 4 with an already imported prop. In this case, we will use a plain cube in order to work with the multi-material channels options on the right side of the window. Then, we will bring an already made diffuse map and right click to drag and drop on the diffuse channel. Remember that you can adjust the strength to any of the material channels. Now we will drag and drop another map into the opacity channel and also adjust the strength to give the windows a see-through feeling. Take note that in the opacity channel, black is transparent, white is not transparent, and gray will be semi-transparent. If you choose to, you can also delete the opacity map in order to completely block all transparency. For practical purposes, we will leave the map on the opacity channel. Next, we will drag and drop a bump map into the bump channel. Again, just open your folder and right click to drop your bump image. This will help us bring more realism by providing a texture feeling to our object. Notice the big difference it makes when you add a map to the bump channel. Now we will import a new map for use in the blend channel. A blend map will help you eliminate or neutralize the monotonic clean look on textures. It will bring a more realistic, worn out feeling to your project. You may even select optional blend modes such as addition or overlay to best fit your needs. If you wish to bring in a tint effect to the windows, then you may add a color map to the glow channel. Remember, you can also adjust the strength here. In the end, remember to enable the pixel shader option to on, as you will not be able to see all the effects if you have it switched off. 